Okay mga kawamat, in this video we will discuss applying theorems and triangle inequalities. Our objectives is we will be applying the different theorems on triangle inequalities. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our video and subscribe na rin kayo. Before we proceed to our examples, let us recall the different theorems on triangle inequalities. We have the inequalities for one triangle. We have the exterior angle inequality theorem, the triangle inequality theorem, the angle side and side angle inequality theorem. Now, for two triangles, inequalities for two triangles, we have the hinge theorem or it is also called the SAS inequality theorem and its converse which is also called the SSS inequality theorem. Let's start. A wooden step ladder with a metal support is shown on the right. So, ito po, meron po tayong step ladder. And the legs of the step ladder form a triangle. So, ito po yung legs niyan. So, uh, by given the two legs, so yung two legs ng ating step ladder, naka-form po siya ng triangle. Now, ito pong distance ng base, ng first leg, at ng second leg mo ay 16 inches. Now, ang Question is, what two inequalities about the sides can you write if the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle D? So, ito daw si angle A mo ay mas malaki, is larger, is greater than the measure of angle D. And, ito pa yung ating isang given, the measure of angle L is equal to the measure of angle D. Ito naman daw si angle D ay equal sa measure ni angle L. So, again, our given, we have angle A is greater than angle D, and then angle D is equal to angle L. So, what are the other two inequalities about the sides? Can you write based dito sa ating given? So, isa-isayin natin. So, yung unang given natin is the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle D. Now, from the given inequality, we can conclude that since mas malaki ito, Ibig sabihin yung opposite side niya, yung opposite side niya which is LD is also longer than the opposite side of angle D which is AL. Why? Since mas malaki po itong angle na to, ibig sabihin yung opposite side niya is longer than the opposite side of angle D. So ano po ito? Ibig sabihin this is this is the angle side inequality theorem. Okay, so we have LD is greater than, I mean, the side angle, the side angle inequality theorem. So we have LD is greater than AL. So si LD, since mas bigger nga po, larger tong angle na to, yung opposite niya, longer than compared to the opposite of angle D. So lagi pong ganon. Kung ano yung mas malaking angle, mas longer din po yung opposite side niya. So this is our first inequality. Ano yung pangalawa? So dito sa ating given, the measure of angle L is equal to the measure of angle D. So ito daw pong dalawang angles na to ay equal. So ano yung inequality na pwede nating ma-create dyan? So since itong dalawang angles na to ay equal at si angle L, so big given nga po dito si angle L, the measure of angle L is equal to angle D, we can also say that AD is equal to AL. Why? Kasi ang opposite ni angle L is AD. Ang opposite ni angle D is AL. Ibig sabihin, kung congruent itong dalawang angles na to, yung opposite sides nila congruent din. That's why they are equal. Now, ano yung pwede nating ma-conclude dyan? That LD is greater than AD. Why? LD, ito daw pong si LD, is greater than AD. Bakit kaya? Because, based dito, since si AD ay equal kay AL. So, ito yung first inequality mo kanina, that LD is greater than L AL. Ngayon, si AL equal kay AD. Ibig sabihin, si LD greater than kay AD. Kasi itong dalawa ay equal eh. So, kung si LD ay greater than AL, si LD greater than AD rin. Okay? And that is our second inequality. Next, in triangle GET and triangle MAN, 
GE is equal to MA and ET is equal to AN. So, ibig sabihin kung equal sila, they are congruent. Now, our given is if the measure of angle E, ito daw pong si angle E, is less than the measure of angle A, mas maliit daw po ito. So, sa, yung measure ni angle E ay mas maliit sa measure ni angle A. So, anong pwede nating makonclude dito? So, tingnan natin yung opposite sides nila. So, kung mas maliit itong angle na to dito, okay, so therefore we can say that GT is less than MN. Okay? So, this is by what? By SAS inequality theorem. So, this is hinge theorem. Na, ano ba ang sinasabi ng hinge theorem? Na kapag yung uh, angle, yung included angle ng first triangle mo is less than the, is greater than the included angle of your second triangle, ibig sabihin, yung opposite side niya, longer than. Ngayon, since dito sinabi na uh, less than, ibig sabihin yung opposite side niya, less than then, dun sa isang triangle. So, therefore, we can say, since angle E is less than angle A, yung opposite side niya na GT is also shorter or less than the measure of the opposite side of angle A, which is MN. So, yun po ang ating uh, inequality. Next. Describe the range of possible distances from the beach to the movie theater. So, ito po yung house ninyo. And then, ito po yung house natin. And then, ito po yung movie theater. And then, it, that is 7 miles. Now, from your house to the beach, that is 9 miles. Now, ang pinapakuha sa atin is the distance of uh, the movie theater from the beach. Okay? So, we have from your house, the distance is 7 miles. And then, from your house to the beach, the distance is seven, 9 miles. And then, from the beach to the movie theater, yun po yung ating unknown. Yun po yung ating hahanapin. So, paano natin makukuha itong unknown natin? So, gamitin natin yung concept ng finding the third side of the triangle. So, yung triangle inequality theorem. So, ito po yung pwede natin gamitin dyan. So, we will be getting the difference, the absolute value of the difference of the given two sides. And then, is less than, ito po siya, yung ating third side, which is your x, which is less than the absolute value of the sum of the given two sides. Now, mag-substitute tayo. So, ang difference po, we have hb minus hm. So, that is uh, hb minus hm and then your third side, ito po ang susundan natin. And then, hb plus hm naman. So, this is always difference and this is always the sum. So, ano pong next step natin? Substitute natin. Your hb is 9, your hm is 7. So, we have 9 minus 7. And then, hb plus hm, that is 9 plus 7 naman. So, this is 9 minus 7, that is 2. And then, we have 9 plus 7, that is 16. So, we have x is greater than 2 but less than 16. So, ano po yung mga possible range po niyan? Greater than 2, that is 3. Less than 16, that is 15. So, ang mga possible length ng ating third side is from 3 to 15 only. Okay? So, from 3 to 15 only. So, hindi po po pwede ang 16. Okay? Hindi po po pwede ang 2. Kasi x, the value of x, which is your third side, is greater than 2 but less than 16. Next. Your house is one half kilometer from the drugstore. The drugstore is 3 fourths. Ito po yung ating illustration. Your house is one half kilometer from the drugstore. The drugstore is 3 fourths kilometer from the supermarket. What about the distance from your house to the supermarket? So, ano naman ang distance nitong dalawa? Ano po yung mga possible range natin? So, we need to find the length of the third side, which is the HS. From your house to the supermarket. So, we can 
also apply the given formula, the absolute value of the difference of the given two sides. And then yung nasa center natin is always the unknown, your third side. And then the absolute value of the sum of the given two sides. So yung given nating two sides, we have SD and then HD. So 3 fourths minus 1 half. So, ito po yung 3 fourths natin, yung SD. Yung HD mo is 1 half. And then, your unknown. And then, ia-add naman natin to. So, 3 fourths plus 1 half. Now, halimbawa, ang gawin mo ay inuna mo yung 1 half. 1 half minus 3 fourths and then 1 half plus 3 fourths. It's okay. Kasi kinukuha po naman po natin ang absolute value niyan. So, pag, kapag uh, sinold mo yan, kahit ito ang unahin mo, Pag kinuha mo yung absolute value naman yan, pareho lang po yan. Okay, so let us solve. So we have 3 fourths minus 1 half. So we can make use of the butterfly method. So 3 times 2, that is 6. 4 times 1, that is 4. 4 times 2, that is 8. And then bring down 3 times 2, this is 6. 4 times 1, this is 4. And then 4 times 2 is 8. Now let us solve. 6 minus 4 is 2 over 8. Copy. 6 plus 4 is 10 over 8. Now, pwede nyo pong kunin yung lowest term yan. 2 over 8 is equivalent to 1 fourth. And then, your unknown. 10 over 8, that is 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, bakit 1 and 1 fourth? Pwede ka mag long method. Ilang 8 meron sa 10? Isa. Ilan ang remainder? 2. What is the denominator? 8. And 2 over 8, pwede mo pa i-reduce yun. That is 1 fourth. Kaya 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? Now, since distance po ito, pwede mo siyang i-convert into decimals. Pwede rin pong fraction. Okay? Pero kung i-convert po natin siya into decimals, that is 0 0.25 kilometers. And then, ito po is 1.25 kilometers. So, ibig sabihin, yung value po o yung distance po from your house to the supermarket is zero, from uh, greater than 0 0.25 kilometers but less than 1.25 kilometers. So, hindi siya pwedeng mag-equal dito sa dalawa. Dapat, mas mataas siya dito sa 0 0.25 pero mas mababa naman sa 1.25. Yun po ang possible range ng distance ng house from, uh, I mean, ng supermarket from your house. Next. The four points A, B, C, and D represent the four players in a baseball game. So, meron tayong apat na players dito. We have A, B, C, D. Kumbaga, nandyan yung pwesto nila. Now, who among them are farthest from each other and the closest to each other? So, haalamin natin sino sa kanila yung malayo sa isa't isa. So, kailangan makuha natin yung distance nito, distance niya dito, distance niya dun sa tatlong players, and then distance ni A dun sa tatlong players para malaman natin sino-sino yung mga players na malapit sa isa't isa at sino yung malayo. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, meron tayong dalawang triangles dito. So, kunin muna natin yung measure ng angle nito. Ito. So, paano natin makukuha? So, simula muna tayo dun sa triangle ADC natin. ADC. Dito muna tayo. Para makuha natin ito, ima-minus natin itong given na measure sa 180. So, 180 minus, add natin ito si 60 plus 61, that is 121. So, the measure of angle ACD is equal to 180 minus 121, that is 59. So, si ACD, ito po yun, this is 59 degrees. Bakit? Kasi magtutotal po dapat siya ng 180 kasi that is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. Punta tayo sa pangalawang triangle, which is triangle ABC. So, para makuha natin yung measure ng angle na to, we need to subtract the sum of the measures of these two angles sa 180. So, 180 minus 60 plus 59, this is 119. And then, subtract natin 180 minus 119, that is the measure of angle ACB is 61. So, this is, this angle is 61 degrees. Now, from the given angles, we can now identify kung sino yung mga players na malapit sa, pinakamalapit sa isa't isa. Okay, so we have 
dito sa ating first triangle since ito po ang smaller angle, ibig sabihin yung opposite niya, that is the shortest side. Okay? Kung ano yung smaller angle, that is the shortest side. So, ibig sabihin si A at si D ang malapit sa isa't isa. Bukod doon, since pareho ito dito, pareho sila ng angle, at si 59 dito sa second triangle natin, siya rin ang smallest angle, ibig sabihin yung opposite side niya, yun din po ang shortest side. Since pareho silang 59, at pareho silang pareho sila na sila ang smallest angle, ibig sabihin yung opposite nito na AD at opposite nito na BC, sila po yung pinakamalalapit na players. So, ang sagot natin dito, sino-sino yung closest, pinakamalapit sa isa't isa? Meron tayong dalawang sagot dyan. Si player A kay D at si player B kay C. Now, paano naman natin malalaman kung sino yung malayo? Now, para malaman natin yung malayo, so ito po yung titingnan natin. Si 61 degrees at ito 60 degrees, so hahanapin natin yung malaking angle. Kasi kung nasa yung malaking angle, yung opposite side niya, yun yung malayo sa isa't isa. So we have 61 degrees, so ibig sabihin ito yung opposite side niya. Si AC, mas malayo siya, eh ito si B, so dito tayo titingin. Si AC, ito po yung kanyang a distance. Now, kung titingnan natin, kunin natin itong angle ni angle A. Pag inad natin to, this is 119 degrees. Pag inad natin ito si angle C, this is 120 degrees. Bakit kailangan natin i-add? Para makuha natin yung opposite side niya. Okay? So, ito po yung opposite side ni uh, angle A at ni angle C. So, therefore, kung si angle C ay 120 degrees, ganun din po si angle A which is 119 degrees. So, ito po yung pinakamalaking angle, right? So, ibig sabihin, yung opposite niya is also the longest side. Okay? Ito yung pinakamahaba. So, we can now say that player D and player B, sila po yung malayo sa isa't isa. So, hence, D and B are farthest from each other. So, si D at B ang pinakamalayo sa isa't isa, while A and D, sila po yung pinakamalapit as well as B and C. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.